What's up guys, we weather forecaster guy here for another weather forecast for y'all today guys. So before I get into the video, I do want to mention that guys, if y'all have not subscribed yet, please consider to subscribe and share my channel and share my videos today with others to get the word out. Um, to help grow my channel. And guys, remember of that goal of 50 to, between 50 and 70 subs by New Year's day which we have two days to get that done guys I still want my channel to grow even beyond that so please help me guys to get that goal completed etc so anyway so let's get right into this video that I'm talking about today so guys this is getting serious so the National Weather Service has put an upgrade to an enhanced 30% risk for severe weather Monday, um, January 2nd, 2023, for this storm that will bring some tornadoes and damaging winds and a blizzard to the north. And I'll get in depth with these both areas of the storm, and I'll have even more depth video on this soon, m Sunday or Monday, as this blizzard and severe weather will be starting up and ramping up. So anyway, um, I'm trying to say is that this is starting, like I said, starting to get serious. So if you're watching this video and you see this, so if you know you have friends who live in Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, parts in the in the orange area, or even in the yellow area for the slight risk, please share this video with them and tell them that these that I said and other people, other meteorologists are saying that these. A good chance of some severe weather that day, including damaging tornadoes, damaging winds, and even some hail within some of these th thunderstorms. Um, Monday, December 1st, and even 2nd, National Weather Service also put for day f a rare day 5 15% slight risk, even a continuation of the severe threat, even into other parts of Louisiana, um, Mississippi, and Alabama, even some parts of the Panhandle of Florida and Georgia. So you also have to keep that in mind as well. So like I said, guys, this threat for severe weather is increasing as we speak throughout parts of Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana, Tennessee, and parts of Texas, as you can see right here. The, this is 850 millibar winds right above the surface that will help shear, put shear on these storms, which will make it... When the shear increases, the threat for severe weather increases, so like tornadoes and damaging winds, and even some hail, as you can see. And then these will be this storms are gonna be thriving on tons of moisture that'll be coming that'll be coming out from the Gulf of Mexico as the storm pulls in very moist wet temperatures, dew points into parts of Louisiana, uh, Louisiana, sorry, yeah, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, basically all the Gulf Coast, and even inland to the Ohio Valley, into the southeast and the mid-Atlantic, coming later on into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this coming week. And then I do also want to mention, again, like in my past video, the heavy rain, or pretty significant amount of rainfall throughout the south in the mid parts of the mid-atlantic in the ohio valley and then out west we could get some flash flooding issues and tons of snow out west in california in um, utah and nevada etc so this is what the storm may look like coming um mo sunday into monday so as you see monday afternoon yeah, Monday afternoon, S snowing in Colorado, um, Nebraska, South Dakota, Wyoming, and then the severe weather is starting to come into place across Louisiana, parts of eastern Texas, eastern Oklahoma, Arkansas, and maybe in some Missouri, and then as the storm gets going Monday evening into Tuesday night, the severe weather threat is still going on with tons of rain to Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and then the ice issues, a mix issues in the parts of um, Nebraska and Iowa, and then heavy snow into Nebraska, South Dakota, parts of Iowa, and into Minnesota. 
with a severe weather threat even continues on into Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night, Tuesday afternoon as it moves into the Panhandle of Florida, other parts of um, Mississippi and Alabama and western parts of um, Georgia. And then the storm continues, brings some storms to the um, east coast by Wednesday evening, and then the parts from there. And then I also do want to mention, please don't um, take this as seriously, because there will be some changes to the snow accumulation forecast for this s snowstorm slash blizzard um, from Monday throughout through Wednesday. As you see, the European model is showing some pretty significant snow accumulations up to 20 inches in some areas throughout a small portion of um, South Dakota, Iowa, Mon Minnesota, and um, Nebraska, and even some higher elevation snow in the Wyoming and Colorado. So yeah, guys, that's basically all I have to say in this video. I do want to repeat myself again. Please, guys, if you have not considered to so subscribe yet please consider to subscribe and um like videos and share this video like i said to for friends and family or whatever who live in these areas as a severe a big severe threat is it's getting up serious now so i hope y'all pay attention to this and get the word out for these videos so the severe weather forecaster guy signing out and i have an update video on this soon and check out my um new year's even New Year's Day forecast video tomorrow. This is the weather forecaster guy signing out, and I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Bye.